If I com- saw him, I'd probably just start crying. <laughs> Yeah, and what's what's great His is movies are you so can amazing. here in LA, he's still can be a little bit anonymous. Yeah, but in Japan, he's I'm like just bigger than Brad Pitt. Yeah. Mm. Like he's, you know, the Walt Disney. Of you Japan. would love. Have you seen any of his movies? He made yeah. this movie called Princess Mononoke, Princess and Mononoke. there are these uh, sure. Japan anime movies, like animated movies out of, and he's a Japanese filmmaker, and they're so good. And really? his female characters are so oh, that's badass. Awesome. We're, we're on camera, but this is fine. Oh, we sorry. can talk about Miyazaki. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm good. Can we talk, talk about, about Miyazaki? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, so, for, because there's not a camera on me, people should realize I'm wearing a, a, a Studio Ghibli shirt. Yeah. And uh, you were explaining uh, the importance of Princess Mononoke, <laughs> Spirited Away. Spirited Away. I mean, all of them. Howl's Castle. That Howl's one. Moving Castle. Howl's Moving Castle. I watched the documentary recently of about his work, and I was just like, I was so moved by the human being that he is. He seems so devoted to like getting it right, you mm-hmm. know? You also make a very interesting point about he has very strong female characters. Yeah. Sort of like why I'm here to talk to you guys today. Nice segue. Look at that segue. Uh, it's totally good. Yeah. When you guys were first, uh, one of the things that's really great about this project is it, it really does feel like a slice of life from that time period without any sugarcoating, no Hollywoodization. You know, when you guys read the script, were you like immediately, holy, this is not the norm that comes across my desk? For sure. <laughs> it definitely... Um, I think the fact that it's real and it has happened um, was so shocking and so sort of tragically beautiful in a way. The idea of being able to tell the story um, was was really kind of what stood out to me. Uh, and it's so well written and it, and it really is special, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think you, it's just exciting to read something where it's like three young women leading a film together in a kind of action movie of sorts only like there are no stunt doubles and there's no green screens like we're doing everything and and yet it all feels really real and impossible like I had just I'd never read anything like that before and then when they were like Haley's doing it I was like hell yeah let's go make this movie like Uh, I think a lot of people aren't going to realize you shot in Romania or am I wrong no that's right right uh so talk a little bit about when you're like you know a Civil War period, we're going to shoot this American story, and we're going to Romania. <laughs> yeah, we're like, really? Do you think you could do it in the States? Um, it was really beautiful. I mean, it was kind of nice to sort of have that, you know, real world that is so separated yeah. from, from what we know and what we are. I've, I'd never been there. I'd never shot there. Um, so to really sort of go and be there and immerse ourselves in sort of this piece of property that we lived on for as long as we did making this movie um, was really sort of, I think, key in, in, in helping me anyway in my, in my performance. When you think back on Romania, was there like a day or two, or like, is there a place in Romania that you would recommend to people to go who have never been? Yes. That monastery, do you remember that time that weekend we went to go look at this? There's this beautiful monastery in the middle of nowhere. We were in Remnikovolcha and like an hour outside of that in the woods. Is that, was that the t- little town? We yeah. Were? Yeah, it was so beautiful. Yeah, it was really, I mean, yeah, there was, it's almost kind of nice too, sort of being on the outskirts like we were because I feel like those are the places people never get to see and it really is stunning. Um, but but that, that, that monastery was, was really special. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, memorable moments from filming. Is there a day or two you will always remember? Could it be gunplay? Could it be, is there something? I think for me, um, there were a couple days we spent in the keeping room, Britt, Muna, and I, um, that, what, what were we, f- I mean, we spent a lot of days in this keeping room. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out truth. what we were filming that, like, oh there was so much conversation between the three of us, mm. um, and, and our director would call cut, and we would just sort of sit in silence and, and almost sort of, you know, take in everything that had just happened. Mm. Um, and those days really stood out to me only because I, I have never really felt that where you're so involved and you're so sort of emotionally drained in a way that you just kind of have almost nothing in you. Um, Whereas normally we had days where we were like, okay, let's do it, and then we could snap out of it and then kind of do our own thing and then get back into it. But there were a couple days in this keeping room where we were just so sort of there that it was, yeah, It was intense, yeah. But it was cool that we had each other in that space. I think like, and also just women. Like I think there was Mm. something exciting about Women are just different, you know. They they get you get emotionally you get emotional more easily. You, you stay emotional longer, and totally. it was cool to sort of be in this like band of sisters on set where like you felt 
permission to do that, to like do a take and be overwhelmed and to have like Haley or Muna just come give you a hug Mm -hmm. and be like, I know that that was hard. You know, that's pretty rare on set. Talk a little bit about each, uh, every actor likes to work a little bit differently, obviously. How was it uh, collaborating and finding like a, 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 a place in the middle to sort of collaborate and or each of your processes is similar? Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Maybe I didn't say that question right. Yeah, no, I think um, in playing Sisters, we had uh, some time beforehand. We worked with the same dialect coach and we had time to sort of go over um, everything together in, in hopes of sort of matching our, our speech and tone and, and everything. Um, so luckily we had that sort of preparation process beforehand that we were able to follow through with together. Um, but I think process wise was sort of similar. Yeah. Um, but we were very supportive of each other and always there for each other that no matter what each other's process was, we were, it was always about coming, coming together and helping each other. Uh, because I'm just about out of time, quick individual question. Uh, I know you're doing a show for Netflix or writing. I'm very curious how that process is going and what can you tease people about what it's about. <laughs> and also, I'm curious, uh, what's going on with uh, Pitch Perfect 3 and Term Life? Great questions. Would you like to? <laughs> yeah. Um, the show for Netflix has been amazing. It's really challenging. I mean, I'm so used to feature writing that writing something that's like an eight-hour odyssey rather than trying to cram it all into two hours is really different. But awesome. Somebody was saying to me the other day, it's like, the show, they were like, they've never seen something that there's like, there's just no information about it. We're staying, I guess, purposefully cryptic because it's a mind bender mystery thriller. So, and in the age of the internet, like you just can't let anything out or it's everywhere at once. So we're staying um, quiet on purpose, but hopefully that will make it more fun to unravel when it's out there. <laughs> um, what's going on with Pitch Perfect 3 and Term Life? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> a lot less exciting of an answer than Brits, but that's, that's the truth. Uh, I will leave it there and say Great. congratulations on this project. <laughs> definitely seek out some Studio Ghibli stuff. I will. For sure. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, nice to 